Brockovich will make a stop in green country tomorrow to address the oil industry's possible role in Oklahoma's earthquakes. As two works for you reporter Corley Pill shows us not everyone is rolling out the welcome mat for the woman whose life inspired a blockbuster movie. Corley. Here in Cushing, you can still see the evidence from the November earthquake. Some residents say they're looking forward to hearing what Brockovich has to say, while others think she's unfairly blaming an industry that is Oklahoma's bread and butter. We live and die by oil in the state of Oklahoma, and Cushing certainly does. They've abused their power, and they need to be held accountable for it. DJ Duncan says she's looking forward to consumer advocate Aaron Brockovich speaking in Cushing. Give us hope, and for some of these folks that are in far worse shape than I am, I wish there was a resource for them to be able to go to to get some help. That's where the, the chimney hit. Like right Brockovich, there. Duncan believes Oklahoma's earthquakes are caused by wastewater injections. These deep injection wells are causing what science is really confirming man-made earthquakes. And all of this is an environmental issue that we've got to start understanding impacts people. Cheryl Jordan says with the state being on an active fault line, she doesn't think wastewater injections are the sole reason for the quakes. I believe that you have to look at the nature of the earth, of the industry, um, everything, and um, I have a tendency not to place one judgment. I know people have concerns because Oklahoma is known for its, you know, oil and gas and energy, and what we're trying to do is find ways to get that with the people working together so we have a better environment. Brockovich has spent the last 20 years fighting for people in communities like Cushing to get financial assistance, something Duncan and Jordan agree is needed. Feel that we're running to catch up, um, both through insurance, through um, state aid, through na uh, national aid. Um, right now, it's left to the individual. My main thing is I want them to stop doing what they're doing and find another way to do it so we can sleep again and safely sleep. Brockovich will be here in Cushing at the high school auditorium tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. She will also be in Pawnee at noon tomorrow and will be in Stillwater on Friday. Reporting live in Cushing, Corley Peel, She Works For You.